What you guys got another video here for you on how to uninstall OneDrive completely from Windows. Now you can do this on Windows 10 or Windows 11, but I'm going to show you how to completely remove it from your system. Now this is probably one of the most easiest ways to do it. But first, let's have a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 or Windows 11 keys, head over to CD Key Sales, sign up an account and use my promo code capital B capital R09. And then you can head over to Windows to the activation center and copy in your key, which you just purchased. Click next, and then you can click on activate to activate your version of Windows. All the information is in the video description. So let's get back to the tutorial. What we're going to do here is go into your Explorer here and you'll see that you have OneDrive. Now this really frustrates a lot of people because it comes pre-installed and people find it hard to remove it completely. And you can see it's inside here. Now I would advise you to uninstall it via this method because it leaves traces behind on your system and some people don't want any trace of OneDrive. The easiest way to do this is using Revo Uninstaller. You can download the free version or you can use the portable uh, app which is on their website. Download this to your PC and then we can extract it and then use this software to completely remove uh, OneDrive from your computer. So I'll extract this to my desktop and then we can open up Revo Uninstaller. Now I've been using Revo Uninstaller for many years. It's a great tool to remove all traces of programs from your computer doesn't leave anything behind so it's really good for that and it removes all your registry keys as well that you don't want left behind on the system so open up this here this is the portable version I'm using here so double click and say yes to the user can control and accept their terms and conditions click OK and this will open up at Revo uninstaller now the good thing about the portable version is it doesn't install any uh, application on your system so here we have OneDrive it's in the uninstaller part here. It's also in Windows apps uh, as well. So if you click on Windows apps, you'll see it inside there. And I'm going to remove all of this and every trace of OneDrive from uh, here. So let's quickly click on Windows apps as well. So you can see it inside there. I'll let this populate. And it takes a bit of time. There we go. And there it is right down there. So I'm going to remove this. So all we need to do here, go back to the uninstaller part. That's where I'm going to start off with first. So go back up to the top and then click on uninstaller with OneDrive. There we go. Once you've done that, you can click on uninstall here. And this will start to ask you whether you want to create a restore point. I'm going to say yes here and then click continue to continue with the uninstall process. So let's click continue here and move on to the next bit. So it's going to give you some options here. I'm going to go to advanced mode here because I want to remove every trace of OneDrive from the computer. So it'll go ahead and start to remove that. And then once we've completed the initial uninstall, we can go to scan. And what this is going to do is to scan your system and your registry to find any remnants that are left behind. And as you can see, there is a lot of remnants left behind after the uninstall. So I'm going to select all of these. And this will remove every trace of OneDrive from your PC. So let me uh, select all here and then we can click delete. So when we click delete, it's going to ask us, do we want to delete these? I'm going to say yes. And you can see there's even more traces of files left behind. So I'm going to go to select all again and we can then delete these as well. So let's delete these. Say yes. And it will remove those. And the remaining ones here, we can uh, leave these and click delete. And this will remove these on final restart of the system. So let me go ahead and delete these. So there we go. It wants us to restart our system now to remove the rest of these. So click finish. And then what we can do here is go to Windows apps. And I'm just going to quickly click on this area here and go to the uninstaller here. And click continue. And you should see PowerShell window opening up and that should be done. Click scan and you'll see it will say there's no traces of files left on the system and that's because we've removed them all. So what we need to do now is restart uh, the computer to finish off the process. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. You can see I'm running Windows 11 here but you can do this on Windows 10 as well and it will completely remove all of OneDrive from your PC. So we'll let the uh, operating system boot up here and the good thing about this method is 
that you don't need to do any other steps like going into group policy editor or into the registry manually or any of that sort of stuff. You can just do it using this program and it doesn't even install the application on your system. Very easy to do. So all we need to do now is we can go into uh, explore here and see whether it's been removed. So you can see from the this PC area, you can see the actual OneDrive has been removed from the PC. Now, this is the area that people normally have trouble removing from their PC and you have to do registry edits. But in this case, it's completely removed it. And you can see it's not inside uh, the uninstaller program as well. So it's all been removed from the system. Let's just check inside the apps area here. So I'm going to go to apps and then we can go into default apps and see if there's any sort of OneDrive in here. And then we can check check apps and features as well to see whether OneDrive's in there. And you can see that there's no trace of OneDrive as well. It's been completely removed from the PC. Now, don't worry if you do want to reinstall OneDrive, you can do. This has not been a destructive type of uninstall and ripped it out of the operating system. It's just basically removed all traces of OneDrive from the PC. So let's quickly go back into apps and features and check here to make sure there's no traces of uh, OneDrive in here as well. And you can see it's completely removed from here as well. So that's good. So we've completely removed uh, OneDrive from our system. And you could use this method, as I've said, on Windows uh, 10 and Windows 11 as well. So no need for group policy editor or registry tweaks or registry edits. You can just use them simple methods. Now, if you want to reinstall it again, you haven't destroyed your operating system you can head back over to Microsoft's website and download the OneDrive app and go ahead and install it back onto your computer. Now, I have created a second YouTube channel and I'll be putting some content on there that's not going to be the same as what I've got on here. So I'll leave the link in the video description. I would appreciate a nice subscribe off of you guys if you can do that for me. Now, also, uh, you can see there is a video up there which is upgrading from Windows 1.0 to Windows 11. I've only just put that up there. It's a shorter version just so I've got one content up there so I can open the channel up. But I will be putting some different content on there, so stay tuned uh, for that. Links to our Discord server are in the video description. If you fancy a chat over there, by all means, pop over. It's free to join. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout-out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Have a lovely weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.